Hello, it's me Norm again from MyBeerQuest.com, and I I know it's been these are becoming more and more infrequent, and I've just been busy enough. Uh, just so you know, just in case you haven't seen these before, I'm not a beer expert. I never claim to be uh, expert on beer. I'm just a guy, normal guy like you, <laughs> or a normal person like you anyway, <laughs> that happens to like beer a lot. And I just have a, a beer blog, and um, I, um, I, this is just a hobby, so I, I don't get a chance to do this all the time. And lately I've just been busy with other things. But this next beer is a very special beer. It was uh, brought to me uh, from Belgium uh, by my friend Danny Cox at baydigital.com. I'll put a link to his website if you want. To check it out, because um, uh, yeah, my my career is actually in the computer field. So uh, and uh, so yeah, I work with a design firm, printing and stuff like that. So that's what I actually do. But I really enjoy the beer. So he brought me this one from Belgium. I can't get this one here. It's, it's a blonde ale. Oh, let's see. I'll show you. There we go. <sighs> Grim Bergen. I, you know, I'm not even sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but I'm sure somebody will help me out. But uh, it's a blonde ale. I'd like to thank Danny a whole lot for the beer. Really can't wait to try it. Got myself a, you know, Belgian beer glass. I don't want to drink it right out of the can. I, t I really like these cans. They're like a, kind of a Red Bull <laughs> uh, size. But uh, um, it's uh, 6.7 alcohol per volume. And it's a blonde ale. And that's about all I can probably make out on the uh, on the label. I'll try to put the website, if I can find it, up there for you. Now, the reason why I'm pouring into the glass is to uh, show you the color. So I may not pour the beer correctly all the time, if there is a correct way to pour it. <laughs> there it is. It's a nice blonde color. It has a nice, uh, nice aroma to it. Mmm. Very, uh... You know, it's it's not it's not too hoppy. Wow, that's refreshing. So it's, it's a just a really nice refreshing ale. Really has a, a really good uh, balance to it too. Hmm. Of course, the Belgians, you know, they're making beer for hundreds of years, so. Uh, they have their recipes pretty good, pretty well down. Um, it really hits you hard, and then the finish sort of fades, fades away. Really nice. I think I'm really gonna really enjoy this one. Hmm. Yeah, just gotta go sit and watch the Olympics, and uh, enjoy it. It's uh, thank you very much, Danny. Uh, I don't know if you'll be able to find this where you are, but if you enjoy Belgian blonde ales, you might want to give this one a try. I know, uh, you know, p different people like different things, so not everybody likes the uh, blonde ales. So I'm not even sure if this is an ale or it tastes like an ale. Cool. But um, give it a taste. Um, thanks for stopping by once again, and I'll try to make some more, uh, <laughs> more frequent, uh, beer quests. Um, so, till next time, enjoy your, enjoy your beer.